hey guys hope you all are doing well in this video we are gonna talk about the exception handling in blue prism basically we are going to discuss the use of resume recover and exception stage so let's start let me create a new process this is our exception stage recover stage and resume stage we are going to discuss the working of these stages first understand what is exception handling so exception handling is a critical part of any blue prism solution and should be designed with the same level of care afforded to the other parts of a solution focusing only on the happy path is not sufficient the unhappy path must also be considered. In short, we must focus on unhappy path. Let's create a process with the help of a calculation stage. We are using X data item which is not defined or declared on this page so process will throw an error data item is missing so let's run the process and see what happens so yeah on some stage there was an exception so the flow comes to the recover stage which is our unhappy path let's remove the recover and resume and see what happens the process has thrown an exception but earlier it was able to complete the process i mean the flow was went to the and stage so this is how we can manage or focus on our unhappy path with the help of recover resume and exception stage so let's discuss all these stages the working of these stages are similar to the try and catch block of a programming language let's discuss the try catch mechanism in our programming languages if there is any code or piece of code in which exception can occur or any error can occur so we put that code in a try block so if there is any exception or error occurs then this exception or the flow will goes to the catch stage means that exception will be thrown and that will be catch by the catch stage catch block see this is our piece of code and this is our catch block so there won't be any termination happens because the flow will goes to the catch stage and in from catch block we can decide whether we want to continue the flow or whatever we want to do we can print the error message or we can do any another uh, we can execute any another statement so this is how try and catch mechanism work this uh, with the help of this we can avoid the terminations similarly in blue prism we use recover stage so if there is any exception in this whole page this will be catch by uh, catch by the recover stage this page uh, this main page or this whole page can behave as a try block so there is our recover stage which is known as catch stage so there is any exception in whole page it will catch by the recover stage see if there are multiple uh, stages 
and any exception occurs in any of these uh, stages uh, calculation stages so this will be catch by the recover stage let's run the process and see the exception is in first sum stage and flow moves to the recover stage now set next stage uh, next sum stage as a next stage uh, let me refresh now see set this as next stage and the exception is also there so flow moves to the recover stage similarly for third sum stage so if there is any exception occurs in any of the stage flow will move to the recover stage uh, let's rename this stage uh, multiply and rename this to multiply to differentiate between uh, uh, stages now we can also catch the exception of a particular stage for example if we want to catch the exception of this sum stage we will put this sum stage in a block and also we use a recover stage in that block as well so now this recovers two will catch the exception of only sum stage only if there is any exception in multiply stage so this will be catch by the recover one recover one and uh, is uh, the master recovery stage you can see there is an exception in strum stage and the flow is moved to the recover two and then to the resume two so now this block one will act as a try block so if there is any exception in this try block this will move to the recover two stage so if there is an exception in multiply stage it will be catch by the recover one so this is how we can arrange a block for a particular stage so this block will act as a try block so recover will catch the exception and resume will resume the flow let's see some another examples of recover resume and exception so we can attach the exception with recover as well to throw the exception and if we want to resume the stage we can attach resume with recover to resume the flow recover and resume to resume the flow and recover and exception to throw the exception let me rearrange these stages and create a block i have uh, taken a decision stage to throw the exceptions see so there isn't any no link for decision so it will throw an exception which is uh, catch by the recover one stage now there is another exception in uh, calculation some stage so there isn't any recover stage to catch that exception so process is getting terminate i have created a recover two which will catch the exception of some or another stages which are out of block one and recover two will throw the exception let's discuss an another important topic which is exception bubbling so if there is any exception occurred in any of the object which is the part of process and the, if there is any page so this exception will bubble up to the main page see this diagram the final exception will move to the main page or the recover and resume stage of the main page will handle that exception let's do a practical of this create a page so if there is any exception occur on that page that will move to the main page let me move all these stages to that page paste all the stages here on page 1 and connect with start and end now invoke that page on main page 
connect all the stages and run the process see the exception was occurred on page 1 and is coached by the recover to on main page so this is how exception bubbling works see there is an exception in some stage and which is moving to the main page but which is bubbling to the main page so if we use and recover and resume stage here for hold the stage for hold the page then see run the process recover exception and to the main page so every time an exception occur in any of the page or any of the object so this will bubble up to the main page doesn't matter there are recover or resume stages available or not because if we haven't given anything here so that's why a blank message is appearing but when we check the preserve box it will use the exception reason we can manually type an uh, expression in uh, ex exception stage as well for exception type and exception details also we can capture the screen whenever this exception stage executed for this you can watch the video we have posted uh, link is given in description and also in i button also we have posted a video on interview questions of blue prism so here are some questions based on exception handling let's go through the definitions of exception stage recover stage and resume stage thanks for watching guys do comment your doubts and provide your valuable feedback thank you so much